director Rick Wallace here dropping in uh, on Friday, uh, July the 2nd. Um, first of all, I hope that everybody is having an unbelievable week in every area and facet of life. Uh, if you are not, uh, I encourage you to stay, st remain steadfast and committed to taking the necessary actions to achieve the desired goal. This is about persistence. This is about being relentless. This is about maintaining and being consistent. Uh, this isn't a sprint, it's a marathon, and you have to be committed to finish. Um, on that note, I want to talk real briefly about a, an, uh, a developing uh, event. Um, I would say right now that Shikari Richardson, is it Richardson or Riches? You know, you would think I would know by now. Uh, man, I want to make sure I'm calling her name right. And uh, I think it's Richardson. Uh, I just saw something on it. And it, the way people are flipping on it is what made me, yeah, Richardson, uh, what made me uh, decide to do this uh, recording. I'm not shooting it live because I don't plan on giving it too much attention, but I do want to talk about it for a second because I think it's something that we need to learn from. Uh, we're very frugal, uh, not frugal, uh, we're very uh, fickle when it comes to how we handle people and how we see people and how we support people. Uh, Shikari is right now, Shikari Shikari is right now learning quickly early in her career uh, how quickly black support can turn to black disdain uh, and you become a part of the council culture uh, based on your humanity. Uh, it was just, to, what, a week ago, everybody celebrating her, talking about how awesome she is and, you know, rooting for her. And uh, now uh, the attack is on. Uh, I still see some people standing with her and, you know, some that are disappointed. And I think rightfully so. But I think we also have to realize that we're dealing with a 21, 22 year old. Um, I'm not excusing the behavior. Uh, I think that you have to know as a part of uh, a person that has been a part of U.S. track and field and international uh, amateur athletics. There's a list of things you can't do. Uh, obviously, anything that's considered an uh, uh, performance-enhancing uh, substance is off limits. Uh, man, there are things in that list. It, 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 you can't even print out the list. You 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 run all the ink out of your printer. But there's a list. Stuff like antihistamines, that's in things that are in cough syrup and things like that, will literally get you barred and disqualified, suspended. And a bunch of, and in, in, in some instances, banned uh, from the sport of track and field. Um, and while most of it is focused on performance enhancing uh, drugs and substances, there are some drugs that are not considered performance enhancing, but that the uh, officials consider to be detrimental to the health of the athlete. And marijuana is on the list. Yes. She smoked it in a place where it was legal to smoke it. She was of age to smoke it, and she did it under stress. And if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, Shikari just won the 100 and I think 200. No, she didn't compete in the 200. The 100 at the U.S. Olympic Trials, and it's slated to, was slated to go to uh, the Olympics, which start at the end of this month, and compete in the 100 and also probably anchor the women's 4x100 uh, relay and while she was at the trial she was tested which is common uh, they, they're going to test you often especially at major events you're going to get tested probably normally after you run um, and it's not uncommon for them to show up at your practice facility whatever track you work out at and catch you off guard and have you pee that is just simply common any athlete that's competed beyond high school knows this because it starts in college right out the box you know this and so 
this isn't something that was new. This isn't something that they snuck up, snuck up, snuck in on her. She knew it was off limits. She was going through something dramatic and stressful. She had just lost her biological mother, and she, you know, uh, hit a blunt. Let's just keep it real. She smoked some marijuana, and it showed up when they tested her, which it would, and you know, she should have known that, and. The thing is, there are a bunch of different ways to handle this um, that you can think about it in hindsight. I think that her her managers and coaches, which I know personally uh, because they come from my era, I don't think they handled it well. Uh, if they knew, uh, and that should be an open line of communication at that level, you need to be able to trust your coach and your coach needs to be able to trust you. Um, and they need to be able to assist you in situations like this. This may even have been a time that she should have withdrew from the Olympics because she's not she, at this particular point. She's been suspended for a month. The normal suspension is three months, but when you go through a program after you've tested positive, they will reduce it to a month, and that's on non-performance enhancing. It, it's a three-month uh, suspension that can be reduced to thirty days uh, if you take. Uh, a, uh, a recommended course or qualified course uh, approved course I think is the better term well she did that so this has been ongoing this isn't just something that popped out we're just finding out about it she's already taken the course so her suspension has been reduced down to 30 days which means that she could actually run on the relay but the US Track and Field Association hasn't ruled on that yet so we don't know but she would be uh, eligible to run on the relay which is towards the end of the you know it's the team events and so that's the, at the end of all of the individual stuff so it'll be after her suspension is up because her suspension was retro all the way back to June 28th I think it was when when, when uh, the, t the results came so anyway I said all of that to talk about how people are dragging her now, talking about how stupid she is, and you know, and I, I th it's definitely not a wise move. It was foolish, uh, but I remember being 21. Shit, I remember being 31. I remember being 41, and I remember some of the decisions I made that that weren't the best decisions at, in any of those different times. And we make them, and we get to make them without the light of illumination of celebrity and exposure we get to make them in the privacy of our families and our our circles and our social environments where it, it, it's not being critiqued by the masses my thing is i think that we as a people have to be very careful how we handle people number one is we we need to be careful of who we put on pedestals and we need to understand that as we place people on pedestals we are placing humans on those pedestals when we are elevating them we're elevating people who are fallible we're elevating people who have the capacity to make mistakes some will be small and inconsequential and others will be significant at the end of the day she's young enough to recover from this she's young enough to learn from it and while she'll possibly miss this olympics she's young enough that if she stays healthy she'll have some more and probably mature and be even faster uh, four years from now, or well, three years from now, if we go back and we actually get back on track, uh, the regular track and schedule, three years from now, she'll be in, you know, entering into her prime and uh, hopefully healthy, and we'll get to see her again, and she'll get chances to go and compete at world championships, but nothing like the Olympics for a track and field athlete. Uh, but you know, this uh, is a learning lesson now, for her. A fun I'm more concerned that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.